Cup final last year. That place was as loud as I've ever heard it. And that's it. That makes me want to see playoff games here again. That makes me want conference finals and MLS Cups here again. And that's the great thing about this club. Four trophies in six years, and they want more. And the fans want more. The way they show up for this team, they love this city. Look, the atmosphere is the fans. They bring the rowdy. They are the blue hell. They don't want glory days. They want glory now. back to another episode here on ESG and NAS. We're back here for FIFA 19 and this is the Sporting Kansas City Manager Career Mode as we're in episode 25 today and talk about a episode we have today. We have a lot of West Coast teams that we're going to be facing today as we'll be facing FC Dallas as you see there and of course the LAFC and in our first uh, US Open game for season number two we'll be taking on our rival the Houston Domino as you take a look at the current standings right now in the West and we'll take a quick look here at some of the player stats there you see some of the Sporting Kansas City guys there in the top of the uh, rankings there in top scores and of course assists and, and a couple other things there in MLS so it's been a pretty good season so far here as uh, we're getting ready to play uh, FC Dallas uh, one of two teams that uh, we just don't really care for. I believe they are one of our rivals uh, besides Houston, of course. And we'll try to see if we, we can do against Dallas uh, FC Dallas. And uh, four matches for FC Dallas so far here. They are 2-1-1. One, and, one, and they have seven points in MLS play. So we're trying to see if we can try to take advantage of that and keep ourselves going here. As we're undefeated here early in the season, even though... Uh, we've only been a couple matches, I think like four or five matches so far here, but we're looking pretty good here. We're looking like we have, we're continuing all, leaving off where we left, uh, continuing, excuse me, continuing where we left off. That's what I'm trying to say. As uh, we go into uh, from season one to season two here. So there you see only 11 uh, goals uh, so far here we've scored here. Of course, we have not given up too many goals here. I think we've only given up three uh, in these uh, first uh, four or five matches. So. We'll see what uh, we can do here. As you see, pretty much the same squad uh, that we've been seeing here in the last uh, couple of episodes. And uh, pretty much from last season, there were, with the exception of some new guys that we've uh, brought in uh, when it comes to, uh, I think the only changes I really think we've made is in our youth academy. So there you see Dallas and their uh, lineup here today as uh, you take a look at Sporting Kansas City. Like I said, uh, we do have some sudden changes paused there. Uh, one of our youth academy guys, he's going to be uh, there on the field. Uh, they're playing some defense with one of our right backs there. He's one of our young guys, so we're trying to uh, get out there and get some um, exposure to the game. We'll see uh, Sporting Kansas City make an attack, and they make a pretty good one there as uh, they tried to score there around about the third minute here. Well, so we'll go and see if we can get the corner kick here after we uh, are, at, are making that attack. And we'll see what Johnny Russell can do here. Set up a nice one. Oh, that one almost went in. But the goalkeeper right on top of that one. Move on now here as we get to around the seventh minute here. We'll see Sporting Kansas here makes in another. Or, yeah, makes a, uh, or not, it's just FC Dallas making a, a nice attack there. Getting close to the half point of the ball game here. Espinosa now has the ball here. And they're trying to move the ball here. And attacking-wise here in this game was pretty, I don't know, kind of lax days ago. We just wasn't as attacking as we were right there. Nice job. As Sporting Kansas City gets this one there. That is Gutierrez. And he gets on the board there for Sporting as they score the first goal here today in this one. Take a look here. Nice job there. Passing that one in there and getting that uh, nice, uh, uh, kit or nice uh, forward pass there. For Gutierrez and Gutierrez just be able to be hit that banger there uh, outside the box, and of course he'll get the first points 
here in today's game. So Gutierrez, there you see three goals now here in MLS, and that'll be halftime. So at half, it is a one nothing game here in Dallas. We'll try to see if we can continue that here in this one, and we'll see if our passing and attacking will uh, even uh, continue here. As like I said, the first half, not too good of a doing too good of attacking here. Uh, and Gorso, of course, Gorso has not been a, kind of been a no-show here uh, in the last couple of games. Here. We'll try to see if we can get him involved. Kansas City there again, making an attack, but good job there from the goalkeeper. Staying on top of that and making sure uh, no one can get the, the ball through the goal. And now, Sporting Kansas City here now trying to make a uh, goal attempt here. No, they cannot. As uh, just for whatever reason, if we get inside the box there, we just lose track of the ball. And, uh, f and for whatever reason, just not making good. Uh, attempts at uh, trying to get the ball in the goal. There you see uh, FC Dallas here trying to do the same thing. They're having some trouble as well, as they're just not be able to get anything going for them. As uh, we'll see now here in the 68th minute there, and oh, we almost had a goal there. We should have had a goal there, but Fuentes there misses that, and that is uh, not acceptable there uh, by my standards. It's Gorso here trying to get the. Uh, cross kick there. Can try and get this one there. And that one knocks in there. Johnny Russell, nice header. Hits this one off the, yeah, hits it off the pole. Or header off the pole. Or header into, uh, onto the pole there. And uh, he gets this one in there. And he gets a goal here. Johnny Russell's been really doing a great job here stepping up for us this season. And you take a look there. I just could not believe it there when I seen that. But, yeah, he hits this one off a header and then just, just, just chips it right in there off the goal post there and that is exactly uh, what we like to see there so nice play there from Johnny and that is going to put us now 2-0 in here uh, they're, here they're in Dallas as you see the manager liking what he's seeing from this squad and well uh, there you see Johnny Russell now he has five goals now he is leading the team in goals and that is going to be it as we do get the final whistle final score 2-0 here in Dallas and that will continue on now as uh, the sixth place we just defeat the sixth place team in the West and uh, they did a great job there like I said uh, some bad passing there earlier especially in the tacking there I've been trying to get uh, two guys in the box there uh, but for whatever reason uh, after this game I looked and seen I did not change that um, that tactic there so I went ahead and changed it. So it should be in this next game here coming up with uh, LAFC. But take a look there, passing or like I said, uh, passing there just 79%, uh, pretty even there for both squads there, around that 80% uh, mark there. Uh, but uh, just more importantly there, just getting those goals there. Uh, got a nice goal assist there from Corso. Uh, of course, uh, help got you know, of course that helped uh, Johnny Russell get his goal in there. Uh, Johnny Russell and Gutierrez getting both getting a goal in this game. Uh, but there you see some of the player ratings there for uh, Dallas. And, of course, we'll be facing them later on this season. So take a look at the current stands right now after this game. 19 points now for the season. We are 6-1-0 and as we have not lost a game. We've only drew so far here with only six wins. We'll take on LAFC now as uh, well, they'll be the second place team here. They're just four points behind us. So this game is going to be really important here as we are at home. Uh, as we're now back here at Children's Mercy. And there you see the standings right now. Yeah, just four points between these two teams here. So a win here tonight for LAFC will definitely put them uh, just a point in between us. And there you see the two uh, top scorers now. In the West, uh, Western Conference right now, maybe pretty much in the MLS right now for the season at this point early. Johnny Russell and uh, Diego there. So we'll see if uh, Russell will be the uh, man that can uh, try to be the uh, overall scorer, at least for this uh, time being in this game here. Of course, it will be tough trying to defend uh, that uh, uh, Diego there from uh, LAFC. He's been, uh, looks by the looks of his numbers there, he's been having a pretty good uh, game. Uh, pretty good season so far here early and uh, so we have to definitely ch watch out for him uh, when they're making their attacks so uh, we're still using that 4-3-3 uh, 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 formation there uh, I'm trying to uh, get the uh, I've learned how to now try to keep the backs uh, back 
and uh, keep uh, at least one of our center midfielders uh, um, there. Try to keep one of them back uh, for help. But we're going on now into the action here. As Gutierrez there has the ball. He's uh, getting this one to Na uh, Nemo. And Gr uh, Russell's looking for a cross, and they get it. And that is going to be a goal. I believe that is Espinoza. There you see him. He is celebrating there, and that is a goal there for uh, Roger Espinoza. Take a look at this right here. Great job there. Look at this cross kick, and uh, just great job there, just volleying that one in there. And, uh, of course, goalie just trying to stretch across there to make this one there, and I was just uh, floored there as we were able to set that up there. So we got uh, Espinoza, one of the guys there, I believe, him and Nemo uh, in the center uh, there in the box. So... We can get those uh, guys with cross kicks. Uh, I was working with Espinoza. I, I noticed that in a lot in the first couple of episodes of this uh, second season there, he was really uh, doing a great job there going uh, up the middle there for us. Uh, there in the box and staying in the box there for us pretty well there. But there you see, we slip up. We give up the equalizer. And yeah, Diego gets onto us here as he gets a goal. Diego Rossi there gets his goal. He ties this one up now two or excuse me one apiece now here at children's mercy so not what we've won there we're just trying to avoid that now and of course now this is going to make this even tougher as uh, we got to play some really good solid defense here with him look at that just great job there as that was deflected and then of course rossi was right there at the right time to just to tip that one in there. look at it. just just tipped it in there and makes the goal and helps ties this ball game up now one apiece now we'll go back to the pitch here as so we'll take a look here. Sporting Kansas City making an attack here, trying to see if they can get something going there. And oh, just couldn't get that one in there. Roger just uh, gets that one blocked there. And he really, truly really not really had a chance to really get that because I believe they call that. Yeah, they'll say that's offsides there. So move on and we'll see here. Kansas City again making another attack here. Russell here trying to get the. Uh, Cross kick here, looking for, to see what he could do. And oh my goodness, Nemo almost had that. He could just, he could not believe that. And the goal, uh, goaltender here, he uh, just uh, could, I don't think he believed it either, but he just gets good defending uh, save there. And uh, that's going to help LAFC here. So, but we do get a corner kick after this. Uh, and then we'll try to see if we can get that one there. And that one's not going to help us out there. This one just rolls away. Now around the 21st minute, Sporting Kansas City here again, making a nice attack. So tonight, at least in this game, we're making a good job, doing a great job there attacking the uh, defense. And uh, there you see Roger there. He misses this one again. And see, uh, he cannot, uh, oh, that one just, I don't know where that was going there. Just not uh, squared up there to the net. Now around the 33rd minute, Sporting Kansas City, Gorso here making, looking for the cross kick there. And oh, Zimmerman there, right there. And uh, he uh, knocks this one out of the way. So now we'll go to a corner kick. Try to see if we can set up something here. Trying to, uh, of course, crowd the keeper. And that one does not any good there. As we just uh, can't do anything on the corner kick. Now we do have possession of the ball here. Nemo trying to find some uh, players there. But too many white jerseys around him. So he's got to try to find Gutierrez. And Gutierrez, same thing going with him. He's trying to do something there. But uh, he can't do anything. There is no one really wants to get the ball uh you know uh to get go to there get to the ball there now russell here is later on here just right before the half russell here trying to go there, and oh nemo trying to go or no excuse me uh gutierrez trying to go for that bicycle kick and could not uh finish it off properly there as the goalkeeper's right there right in front of it last chance now for sporting kansas City to do something in this uh, game here and oh almost nearly had that header but that is how the first half of this one is going to end. So it's still 1-1. Diego Rossi, there you see, one attempt, one goal. He helped tie it up here in the first half, or early in the first half. As Sporting Kansas City now will have to go to the uh, dug or go <laughs> dug out. Jeez, been playing too much baseball here lately. Going to the uh, locker room there to try to figure out what they can do here in the uh, second half. So second half, there you see Rossi. Uh, good thing that uh, our defense uh, was there. Not uh, we had our defense set up like that because he would have uh, if we, you know, there was a guy right up there with him, that could have been the end of the game. 
but he gets called off sides. Now, Russell now here looking for a cross kick here. He gets this one, and that one's going to get in there. Kansas City up by a goal. It is now 2-1. Nice cross kick there from Russell, but more importantly, a nice job there from Krosjek as he gets in there in the middle in the box and makes a nice, brilliant kick. Let's take a look at this here. Let's fire up the replay there. And we'll see here. Look at this. Just a great job there. Finding the cross kick there. And then you see there just putting his foot up there for the volley. Knocks this one in there. Nice job. Not the best, but just enough there to get the goaltender or goalkeeper there. Trying to reach out and go for the ball. And that is how that one is hopefully going to end here. So we'll try to look, see if we can find the final whistle. And that is going to be it there. So we do get the final whistle. And Sporting Kansas City puts some more room between them now. As there was a four-point lead, now it's going to make it a seven-point lead. As Sporting Kansas City now has now, I believe, 22 points uh, for the season. So 22 points now uh, as they were at 19. And uh, LAFC, of course, really was – I really thought this was going to be a game that uh, Rossi there, I mean – the way how he was attacked or, you know, had those, uh, he was, there was times where he was set up pretty good there where he could have just snuck in there and got a goal. But our guys did a great job there to uh, keep that line strong, not let him do too much advancing. Uh, they did a great job there tackling there. I would say that I really thought for a while there we were doing an uh, excellent job at tackling. But towards that second half, towards that last uh, 15 minutes there of the game, they really were fighting uh, to uh, get the ball and make good tackles there on us. And that's how they got those uh, four tackles. So um, I was really impressed with that. But nonetheless, there we walk out of here. And I would say I'm literally limping out of here because, like I said, uh, uh, Rossi should have had a goal there uh, late in that game. But uh, he got called off sides there. And uh, that did not help do any good there for them. So take a look here at the round of 16. As we get ready for the first uh, U.S. Cup game of the uh, Season 2 here on this uh, uh, Sporting Kansas City Manager career mode. We're taking on Houston, our rival. So this one, of course, you know it's going to be a good one. It's going to be a close one. And we'll see here what uh, we can do now. So we'll get on this, uh, on this final game. Wrap this episode up with this uh, matchup here. And, of course, these two have a, a huge... Uh, I wouldn't say love-hate relationship. They just really do not like each other. A very hateful relationship. As uh, we'll take a look at the starting 11 there for Houston Domino. And, of course, this is a U.S. Cup game. So, of course, you know, if we uh, win this, we'll move on to uh, the round of eight. And we would love to try to defend this title as we uh, won it last year. And we did a pretty good job there. We won pretty much every single game. I don't think – I think we may have given up one goal – out of the entire uh, U.S. Cup. Uh, so we were really good, doing a great job there. And we'll try to see if we can do a better job here this year. Not necessarily not give up any uh, you know goals, but uh, just try to play some uh, really good football here. And, and like I said, try to uh, get this, uh, this year's uh, title as uh, U.S. Cup champion. So take a look there. Uh, couldn't really do nothing there. I don't know what, what that deal was, but just could not get that ball in there. Couldn't fire in there. There you see Nemo dr drills this one in there. No problem there from him. And he will score the first goal here in uh, Sporting Kansas City here in this uh, new season in the U.S. Cup. As he makes it now a 1-0 lead. So you see there, Drake, just great job there. Squaring it right up onto the net and drilling that one on the uh, high right-hand side of the goal. As uh, or should say, low or uh, right hand side of the goal, not the high side there. But uh, Nemo on the board here for Sporting Kansas City, and uh, we like I said, we have not seen him score too often here. We got to try to been trying at least been trying to get him involved there, but uh, that is uh, just uh, it's, I guess it's just too early for him to get really uh, fired up or whatever. But we'll go on now to uh, the next. Uh, chance here for Sporting Kansas City and there you see there they get another one I believe that's a header from Gutierrez and Gutierrez gets the first uh, or the second goal here today his first goal here in uh, US Cup Open and uh, we'll take a look here we'll have to see how he got this one 
As there was a cor corner kick, that's Russell. Drills this one in there. And oh, look at that. That's a beautiful header. Look at that. Perfect. Find it. Let's see how. Let's see a better angle of this. Oh, yeah. Great job there. On the high right side there. No one's going to get to it. And he does a great job. Nice play there. And Sporting Kansas City now leads us now to nil. As we go to halftime here and see, that is going to be a great start here for Sporting Kansas City. As Felipe Gutierrez, one attempt, one goal. And he helps them put the two-goal lead here. We'll see if we can hold on to this lead as we go into the second half. And uh, Houston, this one really was kind of a no-show here. They just really did not do a good job there attacking and uh, as, as they are capable of because, you know, we've uh, seen games of them doing this. But here you see they got a great opportunity there to try to get this one there. And, and of course, Tim right on top of that one as we just uh, get sloppy there of uh, getting trying to clear that ball out. Now we'll start seeing here Houston start to make an attack. It's just uh, got a few uh, moments left here in this one. And Tim, again, makes a great job there. And uh, does a great job there of uh, saving this one. As uh, now Houston gets a corner, going for a corner kick now. We're trying to get this one out here. And again, a sloppy play there from def our defense. Got to try to clear that out. But, uh, hopefully, uh, we'll just try to do a better job. As uh, We'll see. Oh, great uh, attempt there for a cross kick there. And if somebody was up the middle there for Houston, they would have easily had that. As uh, Sporting Kansas here trying to get this one out of here. And like I said, really towards that last uh, 15 minutes or so, uh, we had some really there uh, close calls there. I didn't want to show all of them, uh, but there was quite a few of them that were pretty uh, close to, for us, uh, really screwing this one up for us and uh, giving up a goal. And uh, but unfortunately, or fortunately, we just got really lucky and uh, place had some smart play there, and we were able to uh, get out of here with that two nil victory. So nice job there from Sporting Kansas City. As they will move on now, and I move, I believe, on to the round of eight coming up. Let's just take a look there. 50% both teams from the uh, they're on the pitch when it comes to possessions. Tackle, tackling there. Uh, Houston did a better job there. Uh, nine tackles to our four. Uh, of course, passing there pretty similar. Uh, Houston just doing a little bit better job there, around 80%. Uh, but we'll take a look here and see Sporting Kansas City there. Their numbers. But like I said, uh, Houston, uh, for whatever reason, uh, we they really they should have taken a better advantage of us uh, when we were trying to uh, clear out the ball there. They really had some good opportunities there. Which some of them they did, uh, but Tim just did a great job there of making some nice saves. Uh, but most importantly for us, we, that was just bad defense there, as uh, we should have really did a better job there clearing out the, clearing out the ball and uh, getting a lot of that stuff uh, out of the way. Uh, coming up next, uh, in the next episode, we do have a, a game here coming up with uh, Minnesota. You see Minnesota at 8th place right now in the West with only 8 points. And uh, so we were going uh, to, we had a press conference there talking and uh, praising our team and getting ready for them because uh, Minnesota, if you remember last season, we had a rough time with them a couple of times. And uh, yeah, we're definitely going to have to be get ourselves prepared for that game there. So it is in Minnesota and uh, we'll have to go up there and see what we can do as uh, we uh, wrap up the uh, month of April coming up in the next episode. So if you guys uh, want to see more of the Sporting Kansas City Manager Career Mode, hit that like button. Don't forget to, sus uh, to um, subscribe if you have to be new. Check us out on uh, our, our social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Discord. We do have a Patreon page if you'd like to be a Patreon to the channel. I uh, greatly appreciate it. And not to mention... Uh, just uh, hit that bell notification so you guys be notified of when this series or any other series here on the channel is uploaded. That is it for this episode of Sporting Kansas City Manager Career Mode here on FIFA 19. As always, keep yourselves healthy, and I will see you guys next time.